Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm gonna answer a question that I seem to be getting a lot lately, and that is how often should you be cleaning the cartridges in your cartridge filter? So what do you say we get to it? Alrighty gang, before we get started, I wanna thank you again for watching this video. I remind you to like it by clicking the thumbs up uh, icon below this video. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool so that they too can save a ton of money servicing their pool themselves. Also don't forget to check out my website poolschooler.com it'll come across the screen right here for more exclusive membership content that will help you save even more money servicing your pool yourself. Alrighty before I go into details about how often you should be cleaning the cartridges in your cartridge filter I want to offer a prerequisite. I'm assuming that you have a standard size play pool at least, maybe 10,000 to 15,000 gallons. If it's larger, that's fine as well. But what I'm not talking about is the little dinky above ground pool filters that come with like those smaller above ground pools that are the small little car single cartridge. In those cases, you're probably gonna wanna clean those cartridges once a week at the very most because they're just really ineffective and insufficient to handle the type of dirt and filtration that really is needed. So um, a lot of times with those type of pools, um, when I've had an above ground pool like that, I've upgraded and just um, put in a larger filter. So I'm assuming that you have a standard size pool with a standard size cartridge filter, okay? Um, also, if you want information on how to clean your cartridges, I've done three separate videos depending on the, the brand of the cartridge filter, one for Hayward, one for Pentair, and one for Stay Right. And I'm gonna put links to those videos below the description of this video so that if you want to learn how to clean those cartridge filters, that you can look at one of those videos, okay? Okay, so there are several factors that can come into play when it comes to how often you need to clean your cartridges. And I wanna list those for you because if any of these are present, you may end up having to clean your cartridges a little more often than I'm recommending, okay? First thing is your environment. If you notice around this pool, there's a, there's a man-made lake and a lot of palm trees, okay? So, and those palm trees seasonally, twice a year, drop all kinds of vegetation into the pool and that creates phosphates, which need to be filtered out once you kill them using phosphate remover. And that means you're probably gonna have to clean the cartridges a little more frequently, okay? Also, if you live in an area where there's a lot of fields around you, then that dust is gonna blow a lot of phosphates and dirt into your pool, and that's gonna cause you to have to clean your cartridges a little more frequently. Also, the amount of use of your pool during a season can determine how much, how often you need to do, use, clean your cartridges. A lot of use, people in the pool all the time, obviously you're gonna to need to clean your cartridges a little more often, okay? And then the age of the cartridges. If the age of your cartridges is older, they're not gonna filter as well. They're gonna clog up quicker because they're not as permeable because the fabric gets old and you probably have to clean your cartridges a little more frequently. Maybe lastly, and I kind of talked about this, the weather. If you have a lot of dust storms and things like that, in Arizona during monsoon season, we have sometimes lots of dust storms and that can make you have to clean your cartridges with a little more frequency as well, okay? So keep those factors in mind when I give you the number on typically how often you should clean your cartridges. Okay, so I have clients who have cartridge filters and it's all across the board. Sometimes I clean them anywhere from every six to 10 months is when I clean the cartridges. And again, it depends on certain factors and knowing my client's pools, all right? For you, I would recommend every six to eight months cleaning the cartridges in your filter, okay? And again, there are several ways to determine that, but if you wanna get to where it's kind of uh, less work and less thought, just schedule yourself to clean your cartridges every six months and you'll be in good shape, okay? But again, remember those factors that determine the frequency, okay? When I say six to eight months, it may be closer to six months if you have any of those other factors like blowing dust, fields around you, a lot of education around your pool and stuff like that, okay? But typically six to eight months, if you wanna make it on a simple schedule, just schedule yourself every six months to clean your cartridges and you should be in good shape, providing you clean the cartridges according to the way I show you in my videos. So there are a couple methods that people have used to determine um, when they should actually clean their cartridges. I tend to like to say, if you can just schedule it, 
then it's on your schedule and you just do it and you keep yourself safe and more problematic free, okay? But a lot of times people go, well, what are some other ways? Well, one is using the pressure gauge on your filter. And again, I'm not a huge fan of that, but the idea is that when you clean your cartridges, you make note of where the pressure gauge is on your filter when it's running, okay? And that's your clean cartridge or new cartridge pressure. And then as the pressure goes up, if it goes up, you know, 20, 25 um, PSI, then it's probably time to clean your cartridges. Problem is, those pressure gauges sometimes don't work very well and they break and then they don't give you an accurate reading. Another reason with the pressure gauges, sometimes I've had clients who've had, you know, with pressure gauges on their cartridge filter and for an entire year, the pressure never changes, but you don't want to wait a year um, before you clean the cartridges, okay? So typically, again, my, my clients, I clean them anywhere from six to eight to 10 months, depending on their pool. But again, to be safe, I suggest every six months and just schedule it and then you'll be good to go. Another way to determine is checking the flow of your pool. Now again, this again is assuming that you've got nothing else going wrong with your pool. Your pump basket is clean, your skimmer baskets are clean, your valves are all open, you, um, you have no clogged impeller and all of that kind of stuff. And a lot of times if you notice that you're not getting a lot of flow to your pool in your cartridge filter, or you find that the pool, even after you've maintained the chemistry and gotten rid of phosphates and everything, still keeps getting green and you're not getting a lot of circulation, that might be an indicator that it's time to clean your cartridges as well. So those are actually the, the, the ways I use to determine whether or not, uh, when to clean the cartridges. So again, for you, I'd suggest just scheduling it every six months, at the most every eight months, but again, it depends on those factors. And then, um, the other ways of determining it won't really come into play and you don't have to rely on something that maybe is not gonna be as accurate, okay? So there you go, folks. That is my video on how often you should clean your cartridges in your filter. Again, remember, I say to if you get it just on a schedule every six months, you'll be in great shape and you'll be less to worry about. Um, maybe at the most every eight months, okay? And again, remember those factors that come into play. I am gonna be doing a, a video next on how to know when you need to change and replace the cartridges in your filter and how often that usually is, all right? So until we meet again, remember, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below this video, or you can email me directly. My email address will come across the bottom of the screen. As always, it is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. I wanna thank you all for watching. I remind you to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out my membership website, poolschooler.com. And until we meet again, remember to have fun. Be safe and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.